you like that? Are you cozy? Then let's begin. You can close your eyes if you prefer. No? Okay. It was a cold, wintry night. A young couple had just moved into town and found themselves suddenly without power. They hadn't got around to stocking up emergency supplies and they had just one candle and two matches. The nearest neighbor was a ten minute walk away. They were sure to get lost without a light. They decided they would only light the candle in an extreme emergency and decided that they would go to bed early wait it out. When they reached the bedroom, it was much colder than downstairs, so they climbed into bed quickly, holding each other for warmth. Eventually, they both wasn't sure where he was. All was silent, apart from the thump of his racing heart. A vague memory of a dream disturbed him and he struggled wildly to recall. Following his breath, he told himself it was just a bad dream. Turning over, he felt for his wife, but the bed was empty. <sighs> Dread coursed through his body. Flashback came back to him. He felt for the candle and the matches, and he was relieved to find them on the bedside table where he had left them. He struck the first match, only to have it blow out immediately. King, he struck a second match and was able to light the candle. Slowly, he crept downstairs, trying not to make a sound and daring not to call out his wife's name. a cold chill running through the house. Then he realized the back door was open. He felt a wave of deja vu, but brushed the feeling aside. Peering outside the door, he saw footprints in the snow, leading away from the house. He was very concerned for his wife and started to follow the 
Moments later, yes, the door bang too. Torn between going back to the house and following the footprints, he decides to continue looking for his wife. The tracks lead on and on until he finally realizes he's lost. And his tracks have already been covered by freshly falling snow. In a panic, he loops back, but is unable to find his house. Morning arrives, and his body is found by the neighbor. arrive at the house to discover his wife in a state of confusion. Upon hearing the news, she is distraught and collapses to the ground in hysterics. The doctor is called and gives her her medication to help her sleep. Once alone in her bed, a small smile begins to creep across her face. She reaches for her husband's phone. Slowly, she deletes photographs and messages until there are no more signs of the affair. You look distressed. Didn't you like my story? It was one of my favorites. Well, should we try counting sheep? You like that, don't you? We'll count to ten sheep. Okay. Hush now. Now, close your eyes. Just close your eyes. And I will send you off to sleep. Relax. Relax. One. Three, four, five, six, seven, Jane. Okay.